Apologies date with fate. It's coming. Nothing can stop it. There's no way to avoid Archie's date with fate. What's that sound? Archie? in a new era. Jughead, take the lens cap off. Oops, sorry. There we go. Hi, Mom. As I was saying, today as we embark on a new era of human exploration, I am reminded of the great words of Neil Armstrong. Hey! Uh, Dilton, if you don't speed this up, Jughead and I are going to be late for our first class. Quite so. <laughs> of course, if this experiment works, you'll never be late for class again. Ah, Dilton. The hem. This historic morning marks the first time I, Dilton Doily, will test my new invention, the time belt. I will be assisted by my friend, Archie Andrews, who will make the actual journey through time. Ahem. And further mm. assistance provided by Jughead Jones using his mother's video camera. Archie, commence your journey to the future. Fifteen seconds into the future, to be exact. Huh? Whoa! <sighs> so, read any good books lately? Archie? Archie? Archie! Speak to us! Did anyone get the license plate of the steamroller that ran over me? Uh, I'm okay, but I think there's still a few kinks in your time belt that need to be worked out, Dilton. I should have checked the equations closer. No more safeguards made sure the time belt was safer. Relax! Doing all that stuff wouldn't make a difference. That time belt was destined to go kablooey! Are you suggesting that causality doesn't exist and every event is preordained? I don't know about that, but I do know that if something is meant to be, you can't stop it from happening. It's fate. That may be true for you, Jughead, but I'm in charge of my life. I make my own future. Free will and predestination aside, I vow to completely redesign my time travel invention to make it safer. If you're destined to make the thing work safer, you will. Well, if we don't hurry, we'll both be destined to be late for class. Hmm. Why rush? If we're meant to make it to class on time, we will. I make my own destiny, and nothing is going to stop me from getting to class on time. Nothing. Mr. Andrews, may I have a word with you in my office? But... It's like I keep telling you. You can't fight fate. Mr. Weatherby, if this was about the exorcism in the lunchroom yesterday, it was an honest mistake. Miss Beasley's tuna surprise seemed, well, especially evil, and... No, you're not in trouble, Archie. Not like Finney Wells here, who broke into 20 school lockers this morning. But, dude, I needed money for nachos at Pop Tate's tonight. He's failed the 12th grade twice, but he knows how to pick locks. I'll deal with you in just a moment. I have something for you, Archie. Huh? 
I don't understand. What does this mean? It means congratulations are in order. The International Journalism Society has awarded you a full scholarship to study in Europe next year. Study in Europe for my entire senior year? Leave Riverdale and all my friends? You don't have to answer now. The deadline is Friday. Here, I'll write you a tardy excuse for class. So I have to decide by Friday whether I'll take the scholarship. What am I going to do? You don't have to decide. The stars have already foretold what will happen. Nom, nom, nom. Read your horoscope. More of your silly fate nonsense. All right, I'll bite. Nom, nom, a bald, nom, pudgy man will offer you a chance to travel. Nom, nom, nom. See? What did I tell you? For crying out loud, Jughead, one prediction comes true. Big deal. Nom, nom. Read the rest. There's more. You should know. Beware sporting activities. Today is an awful day that will seem to go on forever. Bunk. Scoff if you must, but no matter how hard you try, you can't change fate. All this fate mumbo jumbo might be fine for you, but I'm going to make sure this isn't an awful day. Hey, Veronica, I'm trying to prove a point to Jughead. Would you like to go out with me tonight? Let me think about it. Hmm. I'd love to, Archikins. See, Jughead? There's no way I can have an awful day when I'm going to have a date with Veronica. So much for your silly ideas about fate. <laughs> Sorry, Archie. You okay? Beware sporting activities. What's going on? What did I miss? Just a fellow vainly fighting fate. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry about that, Archie. Really? I'm sorry. Just one more minor adjustment. There. I better scan this to see if I finally managed to stabilize the time belt's chronal fields. I hate to do it, but I have to admit defeat. The time belt is too big a problem to be solved. That's it! The time belt is too big to be stable! If I make a smaller time device, the chronal fields can be contained with a tighter focus. It could work! To think that all I had to do was embed the logarithms for time travel in these microchips and shield them with a coat of magonite. At last! It is done! I have created the ultimate in time travel devices! The Corono Field Generator! Whoa! These dramatic moments of scientific discovery are more satisfying when there is actually someone to witness your triumph. Hmm... I know! I'll find Archie! Dude! Give me some money! I'm broke! I need some nachos! Do you mind, Finny? I'm on a date. If you need money, go to the bank. Lousy Archie Andrews. Rotten Riverdale. I hate this town and everyone in it. I'm introducing a new item on the menu. The Monster Chocolate Chug-a-Lug Mug Full of Shake. Try out your first mug for free. It's big enough to feed a family of four. Thanks, Pop. Pop, give me another one of these delicious monster chocolate chug-a-lug mugfuls of shake. <sighs> Thanks for going out with me tonight. You're wonderful. Oh, Archikins, I just love it when you're complimentary. Tell me more about how wonderful I am. Wow. Archie, I did it. I designed an entirely new time travel device without the flaws of the time belt. That's great, Dilton. Do you mind? We were having a private conversation. I even managed to compress the whole design into a small handheld device. Behold, the Chrono Field Generator. Cool. I'm sure no one here is interested in your silly creme-filled refrigerator. Oh, I'm sorry, am I intruding? No! Yes.
I was just so excited about fixing the problems with my design that I wanted to share it. I'll go. Wait! Dilton, don't go! Why were you so rude to Dilton? You care more about that geek than me! You can be so self-centered sometimes. I don't have to stay here and take your insults! Veronica! You can't fight fate! I'm still the master of my own destiny, and I'm going to get Veronica back here! Huh. Archie, I've been robbed! Some punk grabbed the chrono field generator from me. We're all in serious trouble. Ah. Snap out of it, Archie. We have to get it back before it's too late. Why, Rush? It's like I keep telling you, you can't fight fate. That's ridiculous. I make my own destiny, and nothing is going to stop me from getting to class on time. Nothing. Hey, this seems awfully familiar. Huh? Say, Jughead, did you ever have the feeling you were living through the same experience a second time? <gasps> Mr. Andrews, may I have a word with you in my office? This has happened before. I'm sure of it. It means congratulations are in order. The International Journalism Society has awarded you a full scholarship to study in Europe next year. Uh, Mr. Weatherby, are you sure we haven't already had this conversation? It's strange. This whole day is so familiar. It's like someone put a deja voodoo on me or something. Read this. It might help. I know. A bald, pudgy man will offer you a chance to travel. Beware sporting activities. Today is an awful day that will seem to go on forever. Interesting, but there's something more important going on. Why doesn't anybody else notice the day is repeating itself? If I'm right, Veronica should be coming out those doors right about now. Veronica, do you remember my asking you out tonight? I think I remember that. But it's a great idea, Archikins. That's not really what I meant. <sighs> Never mind. Archikins, why are you holding on to the mug so tightly? Let's just say I don't want a monster chocolate chugalug mug full of shake shampoo after Dilton shows up. Relax! Let go of that mug! <laughs> Fine. If you want to play games, I'm going home. Wait, Veronica! What's going on? What did I miss? Why rush? Oh no, it's happened again. Jughead, this may be hard to believe, but I'm living the same day over and over again. Think, does any of this seem familiar to you? Well, life in Riverdale has seemed a little monotonous lately. I always end the day at Pop Tates with a milkshake dumped on my head and getting hit by an opening door. Ah, then it must be fate. All those things are meant to happen. I make my own destiny. Somehow I'm going to change this day. You'll see. Mr. Andrews? I'll let you know what I decide about the scholarship by Friday, Mr. Weatherby. What? How did he know about the scholarship? I just got the papers half an hour ago. This isn't going to work. All I have to do is take proper precautions and I can avoid all that trouble. Better not take Veronica to Pop Tate's. That's always asking for trouble. I need someone less volatile and much calmer. Say, Betty, you want to go to Pop Tate's tonight? I'd love to, Archie. I'll meet you after school. See, I told you I could change my fate. <laughs> I wouldn't bet the farm on it. Big deal. Tonight's the real test. You don't know how grateful I am for this nice, calm day, Betty. My pleasure, Archie. Pardon me for just a moment, Betty. Here you go, Jughead. See, Jughead, it's empty. And my hair is dry. Not even a small splatter of milkshake. I told you I control my own destiny. I wouldn't count fate out just yet. Here comes Veronica. Uh, hi, Veronica. Do you realize you walked past me today without saying a word? I had other things on my mind. 
You snubbed me on the way to asking this frothy blonde on a date. Me, frothy? How dare you? Sorry, Betty dear, but you've been putting on a little extra weight. Well, Veronica, here's a little extra weight I'm going to put on you. Hey, that's mine. Uh -huh. Sorry, Archie. Oh. Why rush? I don't care what you say, Jughead. I'm going to make sure this isn't an awful day. What did I say? What did I say? I'm not feeling well, Mr. Weatherby. I'm going home. I hope you feel better tomorrow. By the way, you won a scholarship to study in Europe. <sighs> it's almost bedtime, and I'm still safe and sound. I bet tomorrow will really be another day. Archie? Huh? Archie! Up here, Pops. I heard you were sick, so I brought you a treat. A delicious monster chocolate chug lug mug full of shake. Oh, no. Don't come in. Whoops. This has to be the worst day of my life. And that's my story, Dilton. No matter what I do, we all keep reliving the same day over and over again, but I'm the only one who ever remembers. Why, I'll be super amalgamated. Your whole body is infused with chronophasotrons. No wonder you retain your memories in spite of the time anomaly. Are these chronophasotrons dangerous? They're harmless, but you'll be slightly out of phase with the time continuum until they disperse in a few days. They must have been released into your body when the time belt malfunctioned. That still doesn't explain why this day keeps getting rewound over and over again. Rewound? Archie, the first time today was rewound, had I finished work on my new time travel device? Yes, you called it a chrono field generator. Now I remember, the first time I got hit in the head by the door at Pop Tate's, you said something about it having been stolen. Someone is using the rewind function on my new time device over and over again. If he uses it too much, time will go into a permanent loop. We'll be trapped forever. We've got to find him and stop him. But how? I have an idea. There. I've set it for right before the new time device was stolen outside of Pop Tate's. I still advise against this. The time belt is too unstable. We don't have any choice. I think I've just verified the time belt is still unstable. I think I found our thief, Finny Wells. What? Huh? Give that back. No, come back. I can't see. My own time travel thingy. Now it'll be easy to get money for nachos. Not if I have anything to say about it. Huh? Uh, uh. Finny can travel through all of time, and he chooses to break into a bank? This kid isn't that imaginative. Let's see if I can get this open without setting off the alarm. He's just a common thief. Why did Finny want the time device so badly? Oops! Videotape, dude. Don't worry. I'll be back tonight for another try at all that wonderful moolah inside you. And I'll be here waiting for you with a little bit of payback.
This is getting mondo monotonous. I just love this part. I'm going to like it too. Archie Andrews? What are you doing here? I believe this belongs to a friend of mine. I give up, officer dude. I hate time travel. Won't need these anymore. It's a brand new day. Finally! I'll totally get you for this, Archie Andrews. Even if it takes me 30 years, I'm gonna make you and this rotten town pay. I can tell you from personal experience that time travel is overrated. For a while there, I was beginning to believe that Jughead was right, that you really can't fight fate. But when I took charge of the situation, I proved that a bad day is just a bad day, even if you have to repeat it in a little town called Riverdale.